What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another upload. Today it is windy and it is like 45 degrees outside. It's actually kind of chilly, but we're actually going to do something to the truck today. And uh, speaking of the truck, if you guys haven't been keeping up on my Instagram page or on my Snapchat, be sure you're following both of those. But we're gonna be installing something little on this truck and something that I actually cannot believe that I haven't done yet. I don't know why it's taken me this long to do it, um, but it, it has. And I guess it's just not something that I've really tried to make a priority from. And uh, you know, it's just something, something small and uh, something to just kind of upgrade the lighting situation without doing something completely aftermarket. And uh, what it is, it's gonna be the four high headlight mods, a relay and a little wiring harness that you're actually gonna splice into um, your high beam headlights and it's actually going to make it to where your high beams and your low beams are on at the same time. And it's just kind of an OE plus mod that you could do to these trucks just to give yourself a little bit of light output, especially if you're driving back roads or if you're driving at night or you just overall hate the light output of your lights and you just wanna add something a little bit more but you don't wanna add a light bar. Now I've had this little kit for a while, several months, now and I just really haven't uh, I really haven't thought about it until today for some reason uh, so I figured you know we'll make a video we'll install this in the truck um, and we'll show you guys how you could do this kind of on the cheap it is really a nice quality harness put together uh, with a relay we've got a little plug where the relay goes into we've got ground wires power wires uh, we've got the main power source wire right here uh, which actually has a fuse and believe it or not this only cost me $12 and you see right here if you google it uh, uh, this is what comes up. So $11.99, and I think the shipping might have actually been free. So SouthwestPerformanceParts.com, and it's got the relays and all the kits for you know this body style truck, even the newer body style truck. Now on the newer trucks, you could do the you know the six high mod, the fog lights, Boost Auto Parts has a lot of that stuff from the newer trucks. Uh, but the only place that I have ever found that had anything for this truck was LMC, and I think they were wanting like 20, 25 bucks for their kits. And uh, quite honestly, I didn't think that was really worth it, and I decided to go find a cheaper alternative. Uh, which which this turns out it looks like it's a really really nice kit uh, you could actually just go to the auto parts store and buy a relay and do this yourself but for $11.99 and free shipping I don't know why you wouldn't go this route when you've got all of your connectors already ran you've got your full instruction kit right here it tells you everything you need to know it tells you wherever you need to put all your wires and it just makes it really really easy okay and the instructions the very first step is to remove the park light uh, for the side of your truck that has the battery, which most trucks is going to be the passenger side. Mount the conversion box to the core support right behind where the park light is mounted, which means we need to drill a 1 8 inch hole and connect the ground wire. It wants us to drill a hole in the radiator support back here and um, actually mount it, which looks like I've already got a screw here. So I'll back that screw out and go ahead and put the ground wire, which is this one right here, uh, where that screw goes. That way you just have a nice uh, metal surface to mount your ground cable to. Be sure you don't drill into your radiator. Surprisingly enough, I've seen people that actually have drilled into their radiator thinking that it was the radiator support. So, like I said, back here, this is the radiator support. Anything else over here is gonna be the radiator, so be sure you're not drilling through that support completely and going into the radiator, or else you've got a bigger problem on your hands, and uh, the four high mod is all of a sudden not very important. So just for example, um, this four high mod, what we're gonna do is see how we have the low beam on, and the high beam is off while the low beam is on. So when we switch the high beam on, uh, the high beam comes on, the low beam shuts off. What we're gonna do is this relay is going to make it to where when you switch the high beam on, both of these will stay on and both of these will be lit up. That way you provide a higher uh, light pattern, a higher light output for when your high beams are on. And uh, you know, the, the best part about this is obviously when you're driving on the road, you don't wanna drive with your high beams on. So this really doesn't make you know a safety concern um, or whatever because you should be turning your high beams off anyway when you're coming into contact with other cars on the other side of the road so uh, this just makes it to where you can see everything that you need to see without having to add any more lights behind the grill or on your on your roof or, or wherever so no light bars no pods uh, just straight OE lights all right after attaching your ground you still will need to uh, drill another hole and actually mount the box uh, be sure you put it in a place where you have enough room for your actual light to go back in and uh, I'm not sure if mine will I might end up having to move my box 
uh, but just for the purpose of the video we're gonna go ahead and just continue with that and hope that it was in the right place and I've got enough room for the lights to go back in. Alright and in here we've got our headlight harness, our factory headlight harness which our LED bulbs are already plugged into and what we've got is we've got the low beam wire which is tan and we've got the high beam wire which is uh, green. So what we're going to do, uh, according to the instructions, is we are going to use the T-taps and go ahead and install it onto this wire and install one onto the brown wire. So pretty simple. Uh, what you do, if you've never used a T-tap before, they're pretty much just like a quick splice except for a lot, lot better. And uh, basically you just take them, you put them in the wire and you smash them down with a pair of pliers and that actually slices into the wire and gives you a connection and then you're able to go ahead and plug in the uh, connector part which is this part right here into it and it works just like a quick connect but you could remove it easier. Alright so we've got a T-tap on the tan wire for our low beams and we've got a T-tap on the green wire uh, for our high beams. Make sure you squish it in hard enough to um, ensure that this does click shut. That way you've got a watertight seal and uh, your wire will be spliced. So this eliminates any need for cutting and splicing of any kind which is actually really cool. T-tap is plugged into the low beam wire. Super simple. All you do is just make sure your pins are lined up and just slide it in. You'll hear it click in place and that way you know it's sealed up and plugged in. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to put the blue wire and we're going to take that and attach that to the T-tack that goes into the green wire. Alright now if you got your wires all kind of settled in and everybody kind of cleaned up and all of your harnesses um, down back where they're supposed to be. Uh, mine's a little bit of a mess back there but you know we could fix that in time. But uh, we've got the power wire which they give you a a decently long amount and you've got to connect this guy to a 12 volt power source and uh, for me I I don't really have anything back here that's gonna be a 12 volt power source that I could really get to super super easy um, so what I'm gonna do since it is a fused wire is just run it back behind the battery and connect that to the positive terminal because I've got an extender on there um, that allows that to happen so hopefully after all is said and done we get that run back there uh, this whole kit will perform like it's supposed to. Okay, we've got our fused power wire wired into our battery extender and then of course that nut is tightened down that way we can uh, get our power. So let's go ahead and flick on our um, headlights and see what we've got. We should have all four headlights lit up um, if I did everything correctly. Followed the instructions, pretty short and simple. Uh, so everything should be good to roll. Okay, so it appears we've got a slight issue. Um, so we've got four high, so all of those are on when you turn the headlights on, but we're not switching. Like when you go and hit the switch to uh, switch it back over. So we've got the high beams on, and turning the high beam off ghosts out the little indicator. Uh, but that keeps the high beam on and the low beam goes off, so that's not right. The blue wire plugs into the tan. The white wire is tan. Oh, yep, that's why you follow your instructions, guys. Don't plug things in backwards or else that's what it's going to do. So for some reason I had the wires switched, so that's the good thing about the T-taps. You could just unplug them and flip them around and it doesn't cause any issue at all. So now we should have the proper headlight set up. makes a difference if you've got your wires plugged in backwards but that is what we're looking for high beams come on low beams stay on high beams go off low beams still stay on so that way you've got all four lights lit up and uh, everything's good so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up put my park light back in and we'll take a look at the finished product
right guys, and there we've got the 4 High mod finally installed on the truck. Super simple with that kit. I'll be posting a link down below in the description to that kit from Southwest Performance. I, uh, well, I can say that I 100% recommend it. It is super easy, it's super smooth, it's put together very nicely, and uh, gives you results like that. Super, super bright, and your high beams will thank you for it. Ton of stuff coming in the next video or next couple of videos with this truck. I promise you will not want to miss it. And as I said a couple of videos ago, I've got a huge announcement for this thing that I cannot wait to release to all of you guys. So be sure to click that subscribe button, turn the bell on, hit that like for me, and we will see you all in the next video.